I'm a former IRS agent, teaching instructor with the IRS. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about never um, speaking to an IRS special agent, uh, even if they knock on your door. So as a former IRS agent, I worked at IRS for 10 years. <clears throat> I've been in private practice 40. I have a whole team of former IRS agents on staff. I've been on the national news on uh, Fox, ABC, NBC, CBS, Newsmax, News Nation, they all want to interview me. So you can look at those interviews at 777irs.com. But more importantly, see my team. Um, you know, I, I put up a couple um, YouTubes a while back about <clears throat> never, uh, never speaking to an IRS special agent <clears throat> if they knock on your door. And I've probably gotten about 15 calls already from people that had special agents knock on their door. And uh, I just want to go into this, not going to spend long. My YouTubes are only a couple minutes. Um, a special agent is there to do one thing. First of all, I was a revenue officer. I was there to collect money and pick up taxes. There's only two people that visit you from IRS. It's either a collector, me, or a special agent. A special agent is there at the end of the day to put somebody in prison. That's what they're there for. You are either going to be the target or you're going to be, uh, you're going to try to assist. The IRS is going to want you to assist somebody in finding out information about the target. So you're going to know whether you're the target just because you know who, if, if you're the target or if you've done something wrong. Special agents are very nice people. I've worked with many of them. I, some of my best friends at the IRS when I was there were special agents. We used to play uh, basketball and softball together. They're very nice people, but they're, they have a job to do, and their job is to find out information. They're always very friendly. Sometimes they're very salesy. They'll say, oh, we just want to talk to you. We just have to ask you a few questions. Well, what you say can and will be used against you if that's necessary because you're speaking to them. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to get information on you or on the person that they're going to go after to try to put in prison. The reason that you, what you, the reason you don't want to talk to them, you don't want to be pinned down to anything. And when you, they first come, you don't know whether you're the target or not. And since you don't know the target, you, you if you're the target, you do not want to speak to them. You need to have an attorney go ahead and address them to find out what they want. Generally, when the attorney calls them, once you retain them for the first time, they'll find out whether you're the target or someone else is the target. And that will then change what's going to happen from there but if they're very nice people you go ahead and say hello how you doing how's the day how's the sky I like the car you're driving I like the suit the cheap suit you have the expensive suit the tie but just don't say anything just simply tell them my attorney will contact you in the morning and that's it you never ever 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 I don't know if I said ever ever give them any information um, I have help for you. If, if someone's knocked at your door, I have criminal attorneys, civil attorneys. I got them all. Um, give me a call. Give me a subscription if you want. Ask me questions. I like you to give the information. By the way, special agents are very nice people. Just don't talk to them. Thank you. Give me a subscription.